Hey guys, this is Mr. South Florida, aka Lonnie. How you guys doing? Coming to you today real quick with a Lonnie's life lesson video and some random randomness and some I got a question. <laughs> okay. Alright. Yesterday I put up a post about my granddad. Um based on a conversation that I that I was part of in my car, um, I had to give someone a ride and this conversation that this um, person was having, um, I, it kind of took me, a, took me back. When is it ever okay for an adult child Meaning that your child, who's over the age of, what, 25, put their hands on you to the point that you have scratches on your body. Um, as the story was being shared, I, I was speechless, number one. Number two, I started reflecting on... I don't ever recall putting my hands on my mom. Never recall that. There are times when she irritated me, but never put my hands on my parent. So as this lady is sharing this story, and she said that she didn't want to call the police um, on her daughter, um, and that she hid all the knives, um, knives and forks in, in her room. Exactly. Made my head spin. So, whew. so as she said, as she put the knives and forks in, in her room so that she could sleep, her daughter is still there. Then her sons, uh, one of her sons, after he was getting out of the doctor's appointment, that he was going to come and have a conversation with his sister because it's not okay for her to put her hands on his mother. Now, mind you, I'm in the car like, I think both of them are your child unless she's adopted. But... That's neither here nor there. As I said in my vehicle, Jesus was driving the car because I think I had at least three out-of-body experiences when I was hearing this conversation. So, as the conversation was winding down, the lady shared with me that she didn't want to call the police because she didn't want to give her daughter a record. But... My thing was is that I was more afraid. I hate this little thing. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, <I'm happy. sighs> this little thing. Okay. All right. So I guess it wants me to do a head spin and stuff. But um, anyway, you can see my head now. So anyway, make a long story short because this thing is starting to trip. So I don't know when in the black community because I heard uh, uh, on the black radio network, um, BIN, Black Information Network, I'm sorry, um, that the suicide rate for African Americans were was high during the pandemic. Um, because a lot of us are not taking behavioral health or mental health very seriously. So as this lady is talking and she's saying that her daughter thinks she's crazy, her daughter is not crazy. Before I let a child of mine take me out, I'll take my child out. And this is the type of stuff that I think that we might, that I might end up seeing on the news later with a woman who ends up killing her parent or her mother in a suicide and you know just some craziness so I guess the moral of the story for me was it made me appreciate it made me appreciate my family my grandmother, my grandfathers, uh, um, my mom, my dad, 
even my siblings. Um, but I think the moral of the story for me that I took back is that it's number one, it's never okay to hit your parent. And to leave marks on your parents' body. So, so yeah. And I'm not going to play with this face screen thing anymore. But yeah, that's the moral of the story that I got from that. So if you guys were able to still tune in and hear the moral of that story, but... I think that we really need to take behavioral health a little bit more seriously in our community. And, um, yeah. But yeah, I just had to get that energy out and hopefully that will turn into something positive. <laughs> hopefully that will turn into something positive. And I hate this little thing that I put on here. But anyway, guys, I hope everybody has a beautiful day. And remember, if you don't love you, nobody else will. And if you don't, you better wake up. And remember, even the scarecrow has a brain. The tin man has a heart. And the cowardly lion has courage. And Dorothy always had the ability to go home. She just needed to believe. And yeah, never put your hands on anyone. But at the same time, I think maybe we need to revisit this whole thing about not putting your hands on women and everything in this nature because, and I'm not saying this uh, for anybody to get a green light with putting their hands on women. Only thing I'm saying is this, is that this was a black woman attacking another black woman. And this black woman that she was attacking was her mother. So, at what point do we treat people the way that they treat us? And at what point do you value your own life and your own safety that over someone else's who is, at this point, threatening, threatening your safety? And the reason why I have this cup in front of my face is if I don't, this whole camera will just keep swirling around so anyway i hope everybody has a beautiful day and remember treat people the way that they treat you and keep your hands to yourself please <laughs> have a great day